Well, Newton told us for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. So if you are at standstill and you start moving forward, actually something has to start moving backwards. Mm. And it's communicated that way through friction. So what happens? You move forward with a certain momentum. What are you pushing against? The ground. The ground. The ground has to move backwards. And it does. So the entire Earth is responding to the fact that you moved in one direction. <laughs> okay? Oh, oh, man. Can we all get together, every human being, just in one group, and start running in one direction? Will we speed up the Earth? Yes. Or slow it down, depending on which direction. And it I'm has sorry. to be due east or due west. Correct. It has to be due east or Yes. What? So, so, if, <laughs> so if everyone lined up, okay, and started to running due east, okay, so that will sort of spin. Wait, which way are we turn? We're turning this way. So you have to run and run due west. And if everybody does that with their scurrying feet, you will speed up the rotation of the earth. What? That's, That's the, that is the response of the earth to you propelling yourself forward by way of friction connecting you to the earth itself. It's true with cars. It's, tr it's true with everything. Now, I once did a calculation, and I said, let's get our most powerful rocket engines, bench mount them at the equator where you have sort of maximum torque on the earth, and right. can we use that to either speed up or slow down the earth? Mm -hmm. And I did the math on that, and it's hopeless. Okay. It's like a gnat flying full speed into the side of an elephant and believing the elephant even took notice. <laughs> okay. So very, conf very confident gnat. <laughs> very confident. Gnat. It's a very confident gnat. <laughs> In fact, it's it's less than that. So right. but but take, take that dumbo. <laughs> what I'm saying is the momentum that we all gave each other by putting ourselves into motion, you can write down that number. Momentum is your mass times your velocity that you gave yourself, okay? Earth's rotation increase or decrease will have changed by exactly that same amount of momentum so that they both cancel. Because you started out both not moving relative to each other. So mm -hmm. if one thing starts moving, the other thing has to recoil the other way so that they balance out. That's, that's physics 101. So if you go forward, Earth goes backwards by the exact same total momentum. But... Earth has so much mass relative to all the mass of the humans that your momentum, which is mass times velocity, that's the only quantity that has to be the same, all right? So all of we humans run forward and add up all our mass and get our, all our velocities, add it all up, and we've got this honkering Earth with this really large mass, and it gets a teeny little bitty velocity to balance us out. So it, it, you don't notice it. But... You can calculate what that effect is, and it is real. It is real. Wow. Excellent.